home base tutorial how to use home base for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with home base so let's get into it now home base is a simple scheduling tool that allows you to schedule your day-to-day -day for your team for your business and connect everything all together it helps you in saving time and managing your tasks more efficiently and allows you to create some easy management tools such as easy payrolls, team communication, and more. So to get started with Homebase, simply go on to joinhomebase.com and click on get started on the top right. Once you click on get started, you have to answer a couple of questions. So if you are a employee or joining a team or setting up a new business. So we are going to be setting up a new business business and it's called Derden. Then we're going to enter a couple of questions and then click on get started. Secondly, you're going to enter what your specific requirements of home base are. So I, my business is new to running payroll. I would want scheduling, time tracking, and payroll, all three of their major features, and then click on continue. Then you're going to enter your business name. So like this, and then you can enter your zip code. Now, after that, you also have the type of business that you have. So there are a bunch of different options. Let's say we are a retail business and one to five people work here. Now I'm going to proceed over here. And now we just have to continue our sign up by entering our email address, phone number or password. So I'm just going to set this up and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So I have just completed our sign up process and we can get started into home base. Now you will see it's going to give you a quick start guide. So we're just going to close this up and I'll show you guys step by step all you need to know. Now to get started, you will see on your top left, you have a quick start guide where you can get started with scheduling, clocking in, clocking out, seeing how you're going to pay your team. Then on the left panel, you have your dashboard, schedule, timesheets, payroll, team, hiring, manager logs, safety reports, and settings. So we're going to go ahead and we can start scheduling like this. I personally just don't need this, so I'll just show you guys manually how you can start your scheduling. So the first thing you're going to do is head on over into schedule on the left panel. Within your scheduling, you have certain tools, such as your availability, team availability, departments and roles, as well as the general schedule. So from here, we're going to set up a auto schedule. So we can go on ahead and set up our team availability. Now, this is going to take data from your team if you have added members into this particular workspace. For us, it's just me in this particular organization as of yet. So it's pretty much the same if I set up my availability versus my team's availability. So we're just going to go into our schedule, go into our team or my availability over here. Then from here, I can add a new section. And this will take effect from the current date. And I'm going to click on create over here. Now I want to maybe build six, nine to five. Yeah, I'm going to set my availability for nine to five over here. And I'm going to apply to Durden only. You can also choose to apply to all locations if you are a owner. And that is just your working time and you cater to all of your businesses during that time. Now you guys can see it's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now all I have to do is I can just copy this. Uh, pretty much I can do the same thing and I can just set up the time to whatever it might be. 9 to 5 again and this is for all locations so on and so forth. Now let's say I don't work the rest of the days. Now after that, we have request approval on the top right, and you can send it to a manager like so. Now, once you have built a specific time for each of your employees, you can actually go into your schedule to schedule shifts and to be able to manage payroll according to those shifts as well. So by going into schedule, we can set up a employee's working hours for a particular business day. So so one employee might be checking, might be checking in at nine in the morning and then leaving at two. The other one might be working full time. So over here, let's say I go into add 
and then we have a custom one and this is for a new role which might be sales associate so our sales associates which would be represented in green would be applied would be asked to enter nine to five and then i can leave shift notes as well so if they are supposed to do certain duties if they're supposed to check in check out you can add those over here as well now from here once i have completed this you guys can see this person is scheduled for six or more days in a row now it's totally up to you if you want to you know add more employees as you go let's say i have this particular employee that is you know not meant to work one day i can reduce their hours like this obviously i added a very strict schedule this is just an employee view. You can also, from the top, view a departmental view and a role view as well. Now, if I add another employee, so you can also connect your POS system, add bulk employees, and add employees individually. I'll just add an employee individually like this, and this might be the general manager. And from here, I can add their role. So let's say their role is general manager, and then I can even add their wage. So let's say it's $20 per hour. And I'm going to save and add another. Like so. Like this. So we've added a new employee as well. Now this is the general manager. And we can go on ahead and add their hours. Let's say they're meant to be there for four days. And they clock in at nine. And then maybe they leave at three. And they clock in at maybe ten. And I can add the shift over here now from this you will see at the bottom you will see the total wages and the number of hours that each individual is completing so if i go in to the timesheet for this particular person you guys can see uh, you will see the scheduled hour the actual versus scheduled hours that they had you also will have the paid hours and the regular hours and their wage rate so if i was to add a time card let's say this person clocked in at this time they clocked in at three and then they left at 4 10 they didn't take any break and they got no tips you can add their role over here and like this i've added this now all i have to do is i can set up a wage rate so whatever uh, is their per hour shift rate now once you have built your timesheets and your schedule you can head on over to your next step which is your payroll so your payroll is going to be something that is going to be automated now currently homebase has a waitlist for more functionalities and more payroll options so you do have to join the waitlist to see when it's available for you for certain people it might even be available right now now after that you have your team section where you can build your team roster and then you also have your hiring section where you can view all of your applicants you can post jobs you can interview people and build your own career pages now the best part about using homepage is that if you're just starting with one location it has basic scheduling time tracking and employee management plus a pos system for free and then you can upgrade to get more advanced options such as hiring onboarding labor cost management and more so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe